Hello, I'm Julianne Winchin, and today I'll be analyzing John F. Kennedy's iconic inaugural speech. When President Kennedy went into his campaign to become the President of the United States, the nation was divided. Half of the country did not want a Roman Catholic to be their president because they thought he would be influenced by the Pope and they did not like that. Let's take a look at an important part in the speech. Those old allies whose cultural and spiritual origins we share, we pledge the loyalty of faithful friends. United, there is little we cannot do in a host of cooperative ventures. Divided, there is little we can do. For we dare not meet a powerful challenge at odds and split asunder. As seen in the clip, Kennedy emphasized the significance of unity. We can't fix the nation's problems when we're divided. His goal as the president was to unite the nation on and all the other countries around the world. He envisioned a brighter future for everyone. President Kennedy believed that we need to start changing the world by uniting everyone even if peace and happiness cannot be achieved right away. He intended the audience to be the whole world, not just America. Throughout the speech, he uses rhetorical devices, ethos, pathos, and logos. It also uses a lot of repetition to make his topics memorable. This particular quote appeals to pathos because he's trying to get the audience aware of the nation's issues and make them emotionally involved so they can unite and make not only the nation, but the whole world peaceful and united. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.